Lethbridge residents lined up in their vehicles to get to advanced voting stations at Exhibition Park on Friday. 1,255 people voted in the first two days of advanced voting from October 1st to the 2nd. Those numbers are doubled compared to the 2017 election where only 543 people voted in the first two days. drive through voting is a simple process if you can braid the lines. So there's three main kiosks that people will um, drive around. And the first kiosk, people pick up their registration form, and that's a mandatory form that they'll fill out, just that they're eligible to vote. The second kiosk is where they hand in that registration form, and then they'll get their two ballots, the municipal ballot and the provincial ballot. So they can either drive into the holding area, and they can um, think about their voting, because the, the two ballots has a lot of information for people to consider. And then they can drive up to the third ballot here, or the third kiosk, and then they would give their ballots and they go into the tabulator there. drive through voting will run from October 8th to the 10th, from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. each day. With, you know, COVID still lingering, people want to have a, you know, safe place to, to vote and in their car they feel like that's the place to do it. So yeah, we're encouraged by the voter turnout. Hilford says the city of Lethbridge will look to see how this weekend goes in terms of voter turnout and after that they might make drive through voting available for election day on October 18th. You can check the city of Lethbridge's web tool to see how long wait times will be this weekend. For Bridge City News, I'm Micah Quinn.